Hi there, Rob from RobsHealthCrunch.com in Cambodia. Thankfully the weather's getting cooler and we've got a bit of rain coming in, which is great. So hey, listen, I've written a story today about the carnivore diet and the, the real carnivore diet and how it's misunderstood and missed, how people are misinformed about it by so-called carnivore experts, okay? Now look, they all talk about beef steak, beef and steak, beef and steak, beef and steak. Steak for breakfast, steak for lunch, steak for dinner, ribeye steak, the fatty, the better. It's true, steak is good, but it's a lie, it's wrong, it's false. I want to tell you, and now it's raining, but that's okay. I want to tell you that you can eat every single kind of meat, chicken, beef, pork, fish, seafood, any cut of the, of the pig, you know, be it brains, be it pork knuckle, be it well, chop, bacon, same, same with the cow, same with duck, um, anything. Any kind of meat is good as long as it's cooked properly, sorted in butter, roasted in the oven where you, so you can gather all the grease and the fat and that's part of your meal, okay? Now, besides that, on the keto carnivore, let's call it the real carnivore diet, you can eat, you don't just have to eat meat, eggs, huge, of course, you can eat butter, you can eat cheese, you can have uh, uh, whipping cream, which I use for sauces, you can eat plenty of herbs and spices, um, they, just, they spice up your meal, they make your, your food tasty, and you can throw in a few other bits and pieces, you know, like coconut oil, um, other flavorings, whatever. I mean, it's just not as limited as, what, as they make you believe. And the reason I'm putting this video out there today for you is just to understand that you can go real carnivore and not miss on everything. You can even have chocolate, dark chocolate, 70% up, it's fine. You know, there's a little bit of sugar in that. Make your own homemade yogurt, full fat. I put cream in mine and it's wonderful. I put berries in there too. Berries, a fruit. Yes, you can eat fruit. You can even eat a little bit of other fruit, a little bit. It doesn't make any difference, it's all rubbish. You can eat some fruit. You can eat the berries, and you can. Berries, it's back to berries. They're very high in vitamin C and antioxidants, by the way, which clean the bloodstream from free radicals, which cause, cause cancer, okay? So very important to understand that. I'm in Asia, I'm in Cambodia. I, 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 my girlfriend makes wonderful local food. She, she uses local spices, throws some spices and some sauces. She mixes things up and it tastes delicious. Watch, watch some of the Anthony Bourdain parts unknown uh, documentaries. We, we watched some last night about Vietnam. I'm like, okay, he's eating rice and noodles. I do not do that. Don't do it. Don't eat rice and noodles and bread. But he's eating everything under the sun. Any animal, anything you can get his hands on, he's eating. Be it tongue, be it frogs, be it whatever. And it's fine. So, and those things are flavorful. That's what the spice of life is about. Flavor, variety. And if you're just eating steak every fucking day, excuse my language, you're making a mistake and it's not true. And it's just the extreme vegan camp that makes you want to believe that because that's what they do and that's what they think you should do. It's wrong. You've got a massive choice of food available to you on, on the real carnivore diet, okay? And that's what I want you to know because you don't have to be scared that you just think you have to eat steak and liver. It's wrong, it's fake. Okay, folks, that's all I've got to say. Eat your meat, eat everything, the broad spectrum that's on my blog in this video and enjoy it. RobSouthCrunch.com. Thank you.